Thank you. I'm a 5D healer working in Marin County. I have flyers on the back. I work with Shima Moore, who's filming right now. Happy to talk to you later. What I'm going to share with you today are some exercises, 5D self-healing exercises coming from the Council of One. Council of One is a group of mid-causal 5D healers who have been working with humanity to help us negotiate this transition. First exercise is called the unified field. It's the basis of all the council healing techniques. Let me give you an overview before we do the meditation itself. We're going to, in a series of steps, breathe light into the heart and then expand the light to increasingly larger spheres. We're going to include the fifth and the third chakra. Exhaling, include the third and the sixth. Fifth, pardon me. Second and sixth. First and seventh. And we're going to keep going up because there are seven chakras above the head that are dormant unless we pay attention to them and call them in. And they're just waiting to be invited to the party. These higher chakras bring in our higher faculties. So, please close your eyes, relax. There's no effort involved. Just watch the experience happening and watch your breathing. Breathe light into the center of your heart. The heart chakra in the center of your chest. Feel that light expand in all directions, feeling your physical body relax and open in one unified field of light within, through, and around your body. Breathe light into the center of your heart chakra. Feel that light expand in all directions to encompass the throat chakra and the solar plexus chakra allowing the physical body to relax and open in one unified field of light within, through, and around your body. Breathe light into the center of your heart. Feel that light expand in all directions to encompass the brow chakra and the navel chakra, allowing the physical body to relax even more into one unified field of light within, through, and around your body. Breathe light into the center of your heart. Feel that light expand in all directions to encompass your crown chakra and the base chakra, allowing the physical body to relax even more in one unified field of light within, through, and around your body. Breathe light into the center of your heart. Feel that light expand in all directions to encompass your alpha chakra, eight inches above your head and forward, and the omega chakra, eight inches below your base chakra between your legs allowing the waves of Metatron to pulse between these points and stabilize the electromagnetic field. Breathe light into the center of your heart. Feel that light expand in all directions to encompass the eighth chakra above your head and your upper thighs, allowing the emotional body to merge into the physical field into one unified field of light within, through, and around your body. Breathe light into the center of your heart. Feel that light expand in all directions to encompass the ninth chakra above your head and your lower thighs, allowing the mental body to merge into your central core, creating one unified field of light within, through, and around your body. 
Breathe light into the center of your heart. Feel that light expand in all directions to encompass the tenth chakra above your head and your knees, allowing the spiritual body to merge into the physical being, creating a unified field of light within, through, and around your body. Breathe light into the center of your heart. Feel that light expand in all directions to encompass the 11th chakra above your head and your knees, allowing the oversoul from the fifth dimension, the causal plane, to merge into the central core of your body, creating a unified field of light within, through, and around your body. Breathe light into the center of your heart. Feel that light expand in all directions to encompass the twelfth chakra above your head and your calves, allowing the Christed over soul to merge into the central core of your body, a unity of light within, through, and around your body. Breathe light into the center core of your being. Feel that light expand in all directions to encompass the 13th chakra above your head and two below your feet, allowing the I am, the Davic Oversoul, to merge into the central core of your being, a unity of light that shines in all directions. Breathe light into the center of you. Feel yourself expand in all directions to encompass the 14th chakra into the center of the planet, allowing the presence of the holy source, Shekinah, to merge into the unified core of you, a light that knows its own divinity. I am. I am. I am. Let's sit in silence and experience this state. In the unified field, we are more touchable by 5D healers than when our fields are not unified. Just feel one unified field of light. We're going to add a series of exercises that build on and expand this state of awareness and this state of the unified field. First thing we will do is spin the field we're going to do this by calling out a series of Fibonacci numbers. I don't understand the mathematics involved, but I experience the results, and I expect you will too. Spin field. One, one. Two, one. Three, two. Five, three. Eight, five. Thirteen, eight. 2113, 3421, 5534, 8955, 14489. Optimize spin for frequency work. And let us just sit silently and feel this. Our field is unified and spinning around us making a vessel that 5D healers can work with and communicate with us. The next exercise is to bring in a field stabilizer we're going to spiral up to the ninth chakra, 
and call in a set of nested pyramids with each pyramid having the apex in one of the chakras. When complete, these pyramids are going to stabilize our electromagnetic field and the spin. So we begin behind our eyes in the sixth chakra where we usually experience ourselves to be, spiraling up to the seventh, either direction that feels comfortable, spiraling up to the eighth chakra, and spiraling up to the ninth. We ask spirit to help us enact the field stabilizer chakra by chakra. Nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, Omega. Fine tune the fit. Lock stabilization and hold. And let us feel this for a minute. Each new piece of tech, grounding and expanding the state further. <clears throat> the next is an exercise for grounding into spirit. We do this through the alpha and the omega chakras. The omega chakra is below the base chakra, midway down the thighs. The alpha chakra is above the head and slightly in front, as though if we were a unicorn, it would be the tip of the horn. See light radiating out of all your internal chakras. Light pouring out of all internal chakras and out of Alpha and Omega. From the Omega chakra below the base, myriad lines of light running downwards in a conical shape. They connect us to the holographic grid of incarnation. We call spirit to connect anchor, ground us across our entire holographic grid of incarnation, including all lives of all sorts, parallels, concurrence, past, future, in all cycles, in all universes, in all eternities, grounding through Omega into the holographic grid of incarnation. Grounding through the Alpha Chakra, pillar of light shining straight up from the Alpha Chakra. We call spirit to connect and anchor us across every plane of our existence through our chakras. Three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And feel, unified field, spinning, stabilized grounded into spirit. When we are in such a state, spirit can work with us because we are unified and we have a stable container. The container of our field at this point is a Spindle torus. This is something like a big fat inner tube, big and round, with the center of our body in the center. 
this field is spinning and we can work with it to bring in high frequency energies. The council works quite a bit with the council of the Elohim who are seventh dimensional light beings just beyond the veil from the absolute source of all. They are very high energies. One of the easiest ones to work with and the most delightful is Grace Elohim, the silver ray. There are a number of ways to work with Grace and the other Elohim, but we're going to work with our spindle torus. In the center of the body is something we call the central channel or the pranic tube. It's not a physical structure, it's an etheric structure, one inch in diameter, extending from the perineum to the top of the head. We're going to breathe in, feeling Grace Elohim coming in through the top of our crown chakra, filling our central channel. Holding for a count of seven, feeling Grace Elohim suffusing the central channel and exhaling for a count of seven, radiating Grace Elohim out throughout the entire body and into the field. Grace has the effect of resetting our psyche, wiping us clear, releasing things that no longer serve the interests of spirit. So inhaling for a slow count of seven, breathing silvery rain into the central channel, being pulled in by the rotating spindle tars, holding for seven, feeling the silvery grace concentrate in the central channel, and exhaling for a count of seven, radiating grace out throughout the entire body, fixing in the bones, suffusing the field, resetting our field, breathing grace into the central channel, holding and savoring the energy there. and exhaling silvery grace throughout the body and into the field. Let's continue this for another minute or so. Breathing grace, silvery rain into the central channel, pulled in by the spinning spindle torrents. Exhaling silvery grace Elohim throughout the body, fixing her energy in the bones and suffusing the field. Thank you for your participation. It's been my honor and blessing to share this work with you. Toham Kumrah.